Hey Facebook, um, my name is Zakia, but many of you already know that because we're connected here on, did I make this public? <gasps> oh shoot, I need my laptop. I don't know if I made this public, um, but it's Mommy, been- Some of them can take a nap. They can take a nap, okay. Paige said you guys can take a nap. No pants. What? Oh. Paige has her lip balm. It's in a golden. Hey, Dr. Tachi, how are you? It's a crystal. It's a crystal. And it looks like a sugar scrub. Yeah, that's a sugar scrub. How? I love this container. Good packaging. Hey, hey, how are you? So it's been a very, very long. Hey, Renee, it's been a, a, a pretty early start because I have some things to do with my girls today. Like my daughters, and then I have something to do with my other girls today, like my older girls, where I can kind of let my hair. Well, I don't have much hair to let down, but I can do like yeah, grown-up yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I have to howdy from Georgia. Hey, Tina, how are you? So I have to get this soap done. I had a special order from a Jenna. He absolutely loves my eucalyptus soap. It is. I'm gonna do a broadcast. Once I get in the shower, where how, what my morning Mommy, routine is. Now? You are very big, but get down. <laughs> you know I'm I want you to get down. I don't even hey, Tamika. Um, I got to get this on. My laptop be acting dumb. Is this public or private? Because I didn't mean for it to be private. Make sure my password. I'll be on live stream and type in passwords in. Like, can they see that? I don't know. Hey, Laura, you're catching me on the Facebook side. There's Paige. Let's and see. This, this is how far I can go. And you can go really far. Let me, you guys want to see a peek in the pot? It's cooking. What's cooking? Good looking. Oh, Ma, you cooking food in your in, with soap? No, it's soap. <laughs> it's soap in there. No, you cooking food. There. No, that's soap. No, you can't get up there. You don't remember? You gotta stay right there, but you can just see the top. It's okay, it's public. Thank you. Like, girl, it's public. Keep going. Mommy, they can't see that in the way. No, but I don't want anything showing like that. Like my booty? So, um. Like my butt? Whatever. Yes, that too. What Hold I, on, God. What I even Good morning. Butt? How what are you? What, what did I tell you? Um, they're saying, hey, Paige, hello again to everyone from California. Guys, Good morning. You, have, you guys, you don't even know what, you don't remember what I look like since I'm not there. <laughs> you don't remember what she looks like because she's not on the broadcast. But I'm going to do um, a morning hair routine um, as soon as I get in the shower because I still haven't been in the shower yet. Shouldn't be saying that out loud when you're the soap lady. However... I had to get up very early this morning because I have packages that need to go out and I have a custom order that I'm also doing, which is my eucalyptus soap. Um, the eucalyptus soap is made with eucalyptus essential oil and I do want to still come on Facebook because I need to share the broadcast. You'll be back for part two. Okay, I do see it. It is public. Thank you for the reminder, Tachi. I'm going to share now to my page. Hold on. Because they be like, you have not posted. I love how Facebook tells you, your folks over at Live Soap School haven't heard from you in like 16 years. Your folks over at Natural Soap by Zakia haven't heard from you in like 10 days. Um, so I'm putting this there and there. Hey, Miss Eileen, good morning. Miss Eileen. I am trying and trying. Hey, Karen, I am trying so very, very hard to get my podcasting life in order. But I think I really took for granted the amount of work effort that was required so that you're not just like a once and done kind of thing. Good morning, mother. Are you at work or are you home today? Good morning, Karen. How are you? Um... So let's see, can we, we can stir this baby because it's getting pretty hot. Hey, Khadijah, how are you? All right, it's getting pretty high and we want to make sure that everything remains in 
the crock pot. So if you guys are just joining me live, my name is Zakia, and what we are doing is making a really large batch, it's not really that large, it's 12 pounds of um, eucalyptus soap. This is 100% natural. It's going to get the amazing green color from alfalfa powder. If you ever have seen the little rascals, I say alfalfa that way because of the little rascals. And so this is done. This version is called hot process because we have the external heat from the roaster oven, I call it. Um, and it's not just using the heat from the temperatures of the oil and the lye solution. We're getting that external heat, which is currently set to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so that is forcing it to go through all of the phases for the soap. So once I take it out, this soap could be used immediately. Unlike the soap that's above my head, most of these were made using cold process. And cold process, Lord, here, she wanted goggles. Um, cold process, you don't have the external heat going on, so it has to cure, meaning it has to stay and allow all of that excess water to come out. So this was actually a special order and they wanted it a little bit sooner than four to six weeks and so it's best to do that in a crock pot. And so I'm just giving it a stir to make sure that it does not bubble out of the pot. If it bubbles out of the pot, that's called a volcano. We don't really like that to happen at all. Um, and so I just stir this up like that. And it's not done yet, but it's getting there. Okay. Ooh. So fancy. I'm gonna come back and get that screenshot. Let me do it again. Ooh, so fancy. Don't have it popping on me. Okay, you can't have popcorn for breakfast, dear heart. Oatmeal. I'm only saying oatmeal because I'm looking at a pot of soap. So. Yeah, that's for the soap though. We have other oatmeal. Um, you are getting a work always. That is the one thing that I tell people. You really don't need a gym membership when you, especially for your arms, maybe cardio in your legs, but you are going to work out your arms with all of the stirring, with all of the lifting. Most, oh, it says low network connection. Hold on. Let me make sure you guys are not on Wi-Fi that I'm sharing with my daughter. I think you're okay. I think it was, I think we got a little bit of a freeze for a moment, but I think it's okay. Um... You lift, like the oils that I have, now I don't lift it, but I have a 50 pound container of coconut oil and palm oil. Um, these here, this is avocado oil, this is seven pounds. So if I wanted to sit home and like just work out my arms, which I don't want to do, so I'm gonna put that down. I have three of those so I could do that. Um, and then the constant stirring is definitely a workout. And so that is now stirred. And Tachi said earlier, your hair, my hair is growing really, really fast. When I finally get in the shower today, after I have clothes on, um, I'm going to come back and do a live broadcast on how I am maintaining my hair, which is allowing it to grow super duper, duper, duper fast. So as you can see, I, I now just have it like pinned to the back because otherwise it would look cray cray. Um, do you want to tag Shelba in the video? Shelba, do we look alike? Facebook thinks all that beautiful hair. Hey, bird. Um, Shelba, it thinks, do we look alike? Because it says, do you want to tag Shelba in your video? But Shelba's not here. So it's been a very busy morning. I got up at four and forced myself to go back to sleep because like I was telling people on the other broadcast I have something to do with my girls my my actual daughters then I have something to do with my other girls which are like my grown-up girls and so I figured if I get this stuff done before then there's no guilt um, and there's no guilt in the fact that the people who have placed their order their soap is coming out the people who have did a custom order, like a Jene, a Jene, I'm gonna tag you in this because this is your soap. Um, I've made their products. 
And I've done the things I need to do with my daughter so the mommy guilt won't be there. Hey, Alfredo, good to see you. So this is actually a five oil soap. Um, and the oils that are in here, oh, this, is, this is my to-do list though. So this is the problem when you work full time and you're building a business full time. There's always something to do either in the office or at home. Um, Yolanda is here. Hey, Yolanda. Um, this is my list. We are making shop. I know the spell check. We're making soap. So everything that you see over my head and over my shoulders, that's what's in, well, not all of that, but that's what we're making. It's body soap. This is actually a soap that you can use from head to toe. And, um, because it's 100% natural, we are using eucalyptus essential oil, which means it's not great for children under the age of six because it can interfere with their um, respiratory system. And because, do not eat soap. And do not eat soap. Good job, Paige. I'm going to come and get that snippet and add that to some kind of commercial somewhere. Don't eat the soap. Um... So this is actually a custom order. So this is 100% natural because I'm not using fragrance and I'm not using color either. And so if I can find, you know what? Recipe is right on here. I can tell you exactly. Nyla actually measured out my oils for me. I was like, look at you trying to have a job. Hold on. I'm doing it again. Have my... um password all up on the broadcast I'll tell you what we have in this one so this one has olive oil coconut oil palm oil castor oil avocado and shea butter good morning Erica how are you how are you this fine so I was about to say Sunday the days just run together this fine Oh yeah, so that, that has some time, guys. I, there's really nothing more for me to do there. Um, I'm just checking to make sure my temperature is still, or that it's still on, which it is, because I got a little red light. This is a ruster, up, ru ruster, a roaster oven that I'm using, which is 22 quarts, so it holds quite a bit of soap. We can do swimming today. Yes, we can do swimming today. The one thing, though, Yes, it's in the pink bag hanging up on the door. Um, the one thing about this, if you use it for soap making in particular, you can't fill it up with 22 quarts of soap. It will overflow. So the maximum amount of soap that I've been able to make in here is 16 pounds. So I'm not sure how that converts to quarts. I don't think this is soap. <sighs> what? I don't think this I is soap. I feel like... Some soap jumped out at me. It doesn't feel like, it doesn't taste like soap. I hope it doesn't. It looks like candy. It is candy. So why do you think it's soap? You told me that. Oh, your sugar scrub. Don't eat it. She's eating a sugar scrub. That was weird hearing you say it's my candy. name. Edible Sins, hello. How it's are candy, you? Mom. Okay. Um, can I get some bacon and eggs, hash browns and toast, hot chocolate, IHOP, and make Lorraine pay? Yeah, this is a big roaster. When I saw this, I, I have two of them. When I saw this, the first time I got it, I got it at a Goodwill. I was just walking around. I got a lot of, when I first got started making soap, most of the supplies that I got came from the Goodwill because it's inexpensive. I didn't know if I was going to stick with it or not. So why invest a whole lot of money? And I saw... I was looking for crock pots. They didn't have crock pots, but they had this roaster oven. But the idea is they can kind of do the same thing anyway. And the fact that I was making larger batches, it worked out the odds were ever in my favor. And then I ordered this one maybe about a year ago. And it has really helped when I had to do larger batches. Because otherwise, you have the standard size crock pots that you can get like maybe five or six pounds max in there. Because these do start to bubble up. Got one for Christmas. No ideas what's... Oh. Now you got no ideas for you either. If you guys know anything... 
If you guys know anything about me, all of my kitchen utensils are used in the soap room for a very specific reason. It's not going, it's not going to work out the way you think it's going to work out if I cook it in the kitchen. So, to save all of us the trauma and the drama, I'll use it in here because I know I can whip up some soap. Um, but they're they're supposedly really good for cooking and keeping all of the juices in your meats So like roast and chicken and veggies I went somewhere and they made macaroni and cheese in a roaster It was actually tasty. It was actually really tasty. Well, they made it in a crock pot, but using the same way um so I'm just waiting for this to do its thing it, this is the slowest part of the process where it's cooking but the great part about this process is once it comes out of here, technically you can use it immediately because it's 100% saponified. Whereas what I was saying earlier with all of these, these are cold process soaps. Yolanda, are you still here? Because see, you appreciate the artistry that happens in these bars. Although, I don't know, this is a little bit wicked. These bars are a little bit wicked than what I have done in the past. But this... I'm going to put these two together because it's always interesting to put them together. If I go on this side here, shoot, that's a little hot on that crock pot. I'm going to come around. I already burnt my arm twice this morning. Let's not go for three times. All right. When it's cold here, singing cow. Is that what you see? Wait, let me fix them. It looks like they're having like a fight with each other, like superheroes or something with their capes open. And then they, they have like their shields going. And then on the back of this one, now I'm just flipping them over on the back. Hold on. Let me see. My finger is in the way. I used to be better at holding them. Um, look at that. Look at that. Dress you see dresses, Erica? Yeah. I see capes. I see capes on that side and then like little weird people in the middle. Like I don't know how to describe it. Um, but when I saw that I said, Oh, your lines is gonna see something cray cray in there. Um and then this yeah, one I made pink water. You made pink water? Yeah. Like all of these are just really, really cool. Pink Beautiful. Water. Thanks. Look at these. I made a that looks like a sphinx or some kind of snake. I'm seeing a lot of snakes, unfortunately. Maybe that's about my mental, but who knows. Um, great morning. Hey, Pep. Hey, Regina. How are Gina, you had me go get some shrimp yesterday. Okay? Let me just... <laughs> Gina, I don't know what state you were in. Were you in Dallas, Texas? Beautiful. I think you were in Dallas, Texas. Number one, she didn't got her hair done, which looks incredible. I see a wave on the first one. We had two pounds of shrimp because I ain't had $50. I ain't had $50. She had lobster tail, crab legs, Dallas. Well, I'll be at a conference in Dallas, and because of your video, I will make sure I find that place to have some seafood. That was like a platter that was falling over. All right, so here is the other one, which is that there. And for soap in particular, the reason why I like this one is because I don't know if you realize how difficult it is to get those colors not blending with each other. You see a purse? Oh, Lord. I ain't never seen no purse. Look at you. Girl, that $50 was something else. It was hashtag worth it. Tell me, was it worth it? That was a, um, Keisha Coles had a song. Tell me, was it worth it? It was about um, a dude was cheating on her, doing something he had no business doing. However, it looked worth it. It's, when I saw that lobster tail on there, because typically a lobster tail when you go out is $20. Did you know we can play videos on IG Live? I can't keep up. I can't keep up. I have been. It's called Aunt Irene. I know. You tagged it. <laughs> you tagged the heck out of it, Gina. Um, 
So I will see how far they are from the conference. So I'm speaking at the annual Soap Makers Conference in Dallas, Texas. I want to say Dallas. I hope it's not Houston. No, it's Dallas. Because I'm flying into Dallas, Fort Worth. Um, and I eat crabs every weekend in the summer. I love crabs. And I was going to look for a local place to eat while I was there. But, I mean, you've already done the legwork. So there you go. Um, I did not know about the videos on IG Live. I struggle with figuring out where to go next. So sometimes, like, I'm never leaving Paris Skip, never doing it. Um, however, I have to find a way to break my time up across the platforms. Um, Facebook, just because it's Facebook, you got to be on Facebook. Um, I have started kind of broadcasting on YouTube, you do all the legwork. Thank you, Gina. Thank you. I appreciate the congratulations. Gina. That's what I said. No, you said Alina. You said Gina. I said Gina. Alina. It's Miss Gina. Go over there. Ain't nobody talking to you. you. Go that way. You said Alina. She don't even know who on the broadcast. Um, See, um, and this is that Alina. Fandango parenting that my mom says that we do. Because there's no way in the world I would have had the gumption to say or do any of what just happened with Paige, with my mama. I'm so serious, Pep. Um, first of all, you don't, like, even though there's no grown-ups here, she knows I'm talking to grown-ups. You know what I'm saying? Well, she doesn't know. I don't know what in her four-year, four-year-old mind she thinks happens on the other side of this screen. However, my mom calls it Fandango Parenting. I'm serious. She was like, y'all got some Fandango Parenting going on because ain't no way that timeout... What? I don't even think I knew the word timeout, even in school, because I went to Catholic school. There was no such thing as timeout, and that's what we have now. This let them express their feelings kind of thing. You can feel when you pay a bill. In real life, my mom would have yoked me up. So I'm serious. That's funny. I like that. I understand. But I don't. I have two different kids. Nyla was a certain way. Who had feelings? You wasn't allowed to have feelings. Like kids these days, let them express themselves. No, no. You can express outside that door. Um, that part, feel when you pay something up. <laughs> that, but that's what my mom says because she's watching me and my brothers. Like, I don't know where y'all got that ish from because that never would have happened in the house. And as I was having that interaction with Paige just now, I could, and I don't know if she's still here, we would listen, but not part of our lips, right? Um, I, I, I immediately heard her Fandango parenting in my head. I immediately heard y'all in that Fandango. And I'm like, where did Fandango? I don't know where. I guess you're trying to be their fan. I, I don't know where it came from, but it's very apropos because it's nothing like what I grew up with. But, you know, times they are changing. Are they or are they not? Yes, you're, yeah, because you acting dumb. Um, LOL. We would listen, but not part of our lips. So we're going to give this another stir. Now, I try not to scrape too much on the sides once it starts cooking because that will end up just being hard pieces of silk that will not actually um, take on any scent in the bar. So I try to make sure that I don't do too much scraping, but I don't want to leave too much soap in the pot because I listed all of the oils that I use and every single one of those oils has a cost associated with it. And whatever stays in the pot doesn't end up in the bar. Fandango, the movie thing, because we're live streaming, this is our movie place. No, she said it before live streaming. She said that when Nyla was one. <laughs> she has always called our parenting Fandango. I was never your sister. No, when you were little. 
Yeah, you weren't here when I was little. Is you and Nyla? No, Nyla wasn't either. It was just me and my mom. And then Nyla came, and then you came. Um, oh, real? yeah, she's always called it Fandango. And then we all were sisters? Had to be. Was Fandango out 14 years ago? Or maybe about when she was five or six. Um, oh, really? I'm so serious. All right, so this is almost done, guys. And I'll be able... To, oh, I have to make the alfalfa powder. I'll not make it, but I have to blend it up. So we're going to actually use alfalfa powder to color this a magnificent shade of green. Now, uh-oh, those four-year-old questions of life. Can you use the crock pot liners to avoid... Hold on. Edible sins, because I don't feel right calling you Erica anymore. Looks like cheese grits. There are crock pot liners. Hey, Ivan, there are... Cro you just might have changed my whole life. I never even heard of a crock pot liner. I was thinking that too. I, is there a such thing? But would the heat get in and would I still be able to stir it? Let me get this powder, guys. Where the heck is my powder? Oh, shoot. Hmm. Alfalfa. Have you guys seen the little rascals? He's like, alfalfa. I did a video on liners. Oh, tag me in it. Yes, crockpot liners are a thing thing. Well, this girl is going to get up on, get down on it. You got to get down on it. Because that will save um, a lot. From like the soap, the everything that I use. Reynolds liners. Ooh. You might have just changed the whole soaping game. Just about well, at least the crock pot part. Save your money, girl. Use all your ingredients. All right. So I had to get a little container here. And let me grab a little bit of avocado oil. Now, you can mix alfalfa powder with distilled water or any light oil that you have, like a soybean oil, um, olive oil. Definitely not castor oil. That is way too thick. But you need a light oil. Now, alfalfa powder doesn't necessarily have any benefits to the skin. Felicia, hello. Yes to heat and yes to stir. I'm going to look for some. I'm going to look for some. Where's my spoons? Where's my spoons? Paige, did you have my spoon? No. That no sound like a maybe. No, not the... As soon as I say spoon, she runs and get one. I don't, I don't, I don't need that. I got this, but I can use that to get the alfalfa. Thank you for your help. Thank you very much. That's what you're talking about me yesterday. She's easy to get out the pot. I'm doing good. How are you? So we are kind of chilling on a Saturday. Well, not really chilling. I'm actually getting this soap made. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the alfalfa powder so that way you can see it. And I'm putting it into this container here. And typically, because I'm doing 12 pounds of soap, I need enough that it will cover the soap. Now, typically, you would do one teaspoon per pound of oil. That is a general rule of thumb. You do not have to follow that rule. Um, that's definitely more than a teaspoon. It's like a half a tablespoon of each that I put in there and then I'm going to mix in the avocado oil just to help it blend better and that'll actually add some additional oil into the soap and not impact the lather too much and I'm stirring it up and easy to get out the pot you know my whole cleaning life would change Although I do enjoy the cleaning part of the crock pot because that gives me a sneak peek 
at how well it will lather. Turn my light back on. I don't need the light and Paige is adjusting the lighting. She's our executive producer over there. Um, but you know what? I will add. Ew! What's their poop in there? That is not poop. It's alfalfa powder. Oh, here. This is what it looks like. Can I smell it? It doesn't have a smell. I just want to... Ooh, it does have so it'll give a nice... Green. Mommy, it does have a smell. It smells like rainbow. What does a rainbow smell like? This? <laughs> strawberry. Strawberry? Yeah, so it smells like strawberry. I didn't know. Alright, so that is blended, blended. Um, I sent you pictures of liners. Thank you so much. You know I'm going to order right after this broadcast because I got, I got issues. I don't know how to not do it. All right, so this soap is, I would say, 95%. 95. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our alfalfa powder, and I'm also going to turn this off because I want that temperature to come down before I add in the eucalyptus essential oil. I'm going to pour that in side to side, side to side. Oh, that's going to be gorgeous. And then stir it up. Stir it up. And that's going to give it a nice army fatigue green shade. And that's how I'm able to keep it natural. By using that natural plant of alfalfa instead of a mica colorant or anything like that, we're able to maintain a natural bar of soup. And because we're using essential oil, it stays natural as well. I wish I didn't pour as much because I would have had a natural swirl. A natural swirl in the soap. But it might be some lighter colors versus darker. See, I want you to see when the two are together, you get like a little bit of a green and a little bit of the natural color of the soup. But if I would have did half the amount of alfalfa powder, that would have worked. But because of the amount that I put in here, it's definitely... No. Hey, Miss Brenda. All right. So that is a workout for my arm, indeed. That's as mixed as mixed gonna get. Do you know how Kita Dog is doing? I haven't talked to Kita in so long, Laura. Uh, on last time I talked to her, wasn't even a phone call. It was for her birthday when I just texted her. So I need to actually see what's going on. I didn't know something was wrong with her doggy. You mean my grandma's dog? No, your cousin's dog. Oh, I love that green. What? What color? Marquita. Mark, what? Oh my gosh. Kita from California. Was she too loud to see me? No, she didn't see you. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. We got two more minutes and the broadcast will be over. Or a five. Looking for my spoon to be able to 
scoop this out. Here it is. Hold on, guys. Hey there, Frazier! New shops coming along. We have an adjustment to our timeline. Instead of March, it will most likely be May. It will most likely be May 1st. Or when I come back from Dallas. Alright, so now what we're going to do, you guys are going to let me do it. We got to add our eucalyptus essential oil in here. That smells good, good, good. Cool. How are you doing, Frazier? I'm trying to figure out what my Scotland date shall be. Whoa, that's really strong. Hey, Cassandra. I might have should have waited a little while before adding that. But we, should, we shall see. And in a moment, we'll be able to scoop this out and I'll show you what a finish bar looks like. Good, busy with new things that are... You're always busy, Frazier. You're like the master networking guy. Right. That is good to go. If you guys don't know, eucalyptus is one of the strongest scents. All right. It's very minty. Good. Thank you for the thumbs up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the mold right here. Still can't see it. I'm going to put the mold... Nope. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to get the mold where you can see it. So how it goes from being this to this, and then ultimately trying to find a bar that will be the same. I can't reach. It's a bar up there. I'll show you that. <laughs> I'll show you that in a moment. So we take it from the roaster pot. And we just put it into the actual molds here. And let it harden up. And then I will slice it down tomorrow. Or probably in a couple of hours this will be ready. And you're like, that's, that's what soap looks like. Um, already passed Curtis Brook three bits of, three bits of fitness. Cause you don't be playing. You don't mess around. You don't mess around. Now the tricky part is making sure that every corner is covered with soap. And not having it just kind of like hanging out. Because then that creates air bubbles in the final batch. Or in each of the individual bars. And we don't want that. Now I'm going to tap it really quickly. One second, guys. There's a little bit of banging. 
Maybe that's the squat portion of the broadcast. Get your squats in while you're making soup. Get your aromatherapy. When you think in um, 2020, I think 2020 is the year for the UK area. Depending on how the store goes. Mommy, I painted my dolly's hair. That's not a good idea, Paige. It's black and pink and blue. What you paint it with? My paint. It's worse. What else would I paint? Hair one. You better not do it again. Do you understand? Avoid first two weeks of July. I will be in flu. Oh, you're coming back to the States. Okay, cool. Good to know. Well, yeah, I think July would be difficult because that's like the start of the summer. We'll figure it out. That's going to be a high one. It's going to be a really high bar. All right. Let me tap this one more time. Chandra, hi. I thought if you were making guacamole, I see. <laughs> yeah, I could see how that's a really easy mistake for sure, especially with this color. Now I just got to make sure it stays in the mold and not off to the side. It's a very beautiful green. I love making this specifically for the color. Very pretty. All right, so that's the first batch raw right there. Um, how long does the process of soap take to harden? So typically, this is going to be hard in about four or five hours because this is hot process again. Um, I typically like to let it stay in the mold for at least 24 hours, so a whole day, before I actually take it out and cut it. I do have a loaf of my sample soap down here that I'm going to cut while we're here. Um, might make it over this year. Cool beans, Frazier. Depending on where you come, depends on where I'm going to be. All right, so here's the second loaf. So let's get this in. And it's pretty much the same thing. We make it, then we mold it, then we cut it. Baby girl, you need to cut it. Um, awesome, right? So... And this, because it's hot process, again, it's going through the entire saponification process. The only purpose in letting it sit for a little while is so that any of the excess water gets a chance to evaporate out. But I typically adjust my formula with hot process soap making so I don't use as much water so it doesn't take as much time. Catch you later. Back to work you go. Thank you for stopping in, Frazier. And so, is mommy, is it's that not going to... Broadcast? Almost. That was somebody saying bye on the broadcast. We're almost done because I'm almost done with this soap here. Is that we could go swimming? Well, I got to check the schedule for the pool because they have classes today. Right, the big kid one? Yeah. So, after I check that schedule, I can let you know what time we can go. First, a big kid one. Hey, Kadeem. Because I'm smart. Is that why? Yes! Minus the yelling now. Enough. Just yell for no reason. Who wants to hear that? What is that? What does that mean? So I say don't yell so she breaks out into song. See what I'm saying? All right. Let me tap this one. I'm trying to eliminate as many air pockets as possible. Hold on. All 
Alrighty. And we just got a little bit more soap in. Well, I think this is going to be a high one too. I can definitely adjust this recipe by about half an ounce. Or maybe not. In this eucalyptus, it's just like flowing. Like if I had any kind of sinus issues right now, they would be completely gone. Uh, what kind? Oh, look, I didn't even see your question. So this is a eucalyptus 100% natural plant-based soap. Um, someone ordered an entire loaf, and I never make just one. I always make two. Um, so one of these loaves is sold already, and this one, the other loaf, will go on the website. Hello, just coming in. What kind of soap? <laughs> Sorry, guys, I forgot. Um, Facebook is definitely like the five-minute broadcasting platform. People do not stick around for an entire broadcast, so I got to remember to kind of reset. So we are making a eucalyptus handmade soap. This one is made up of six oils, and it is also using alfalfa powder to give us this beautiful shade of emerald green. Um, I always think of green when I think of eucalyptus and so I like to use the alfalfa powder when I make this particular batch of soap. You can't wait to try. Can't wait. Yes, this one is hot processed so the wait is not that long like the other bars that I make. Alright, I'm going to tap this one and we shall be done. The awesome part is... Um, I can actually, what I'll do is I'll take a scoop of this and let that get hard. And then I'll test out what the lather is like. And then I also, you got to wait until I'm done. I'll be done in a couple minutes. Let me tap this one more time. Come on. Can't tap it too much because then it starts to go off the sides and that's not what we want. So then I'm just reforming it to make sure it doesn't go out, um, out of the mold. So when I go to cut it, it's fine. But if you are just coming in or you're catching the tail end of this broadcast, we made our eucalyptus soap which is 100% natural, even the color. The scent in here is the eucalyptus essential oil. The color comes from alfalfa powder. And all of the oils are plant-based. Hey Joseph, all of the oils are 100% plant-based oils. So we have that. I am going to grab my sample loaf of lavender that's a really long loaf. Hey, Jean, how are you? Um, and Ajene, I'm going to tag you on this video because this is your loaf of soap. Thank you very much for the order. So I'm going to slide those off. I'm going to move our crock pot and go on to phase two of the broadcast, which is actually, you are so cute. Hi there. Um, phase two is actually cutting the lavender soap, which is the length of from my fingertips to my shoulder. It's a very long loaf. That is what I use for my sample bars. It's been sitting and waiting for me to do something with it. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut it because I do have, um, I'm so glad to hear that. All right, we have that. Move that. Got to get some room. But what I was saying earlier, juggling um, two things at one time, my to-do list is never ending and constantly growing. So I have several soaps to make, sugar scrubs, candles, baths, but like there's so much on my to-do list um, that it's never like, oh, you're not doing anything. No, we're doing something. Um, so I'm going to wait for this to get hard and then we're going to actually, you can't see it. We're going to test out what that lather does. 
right there. So that's what's left over. Well, there's a little bit more left over than that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab our super long um, loaf of lavender tranquility. This is my sample size. Can you make soap for swelling legs and ankles? That moves into the category of a drug. Um, and so with soap, it's either a cosmetic or a soap. And in order for me to make anything that has, you are a go-getter. God bless. Thank you. It moves it into a category of a drug. Now, I could create something that has the essential oils, but I can't make any kind of product claims that that's what it does. Because it has to go through FDA testing and approval. And soap is meant to cleanse. Mmm, nice. Very good. All right. So this, guys, I'll show you. You guys might have thought I was exaggerating. Look at this. Mommy, I made it into medicine. This is my lavender tranquility soup. And remember I said it is the length of my arm? It's the length of my arm. Mommy, everyone took the lick of it. Oh boy, why? And that is how I get the small sample size bar. Can you hear their lips? Which are these. I can. Let's move that. I'm going to move that to drop. Hey, everyone, don't drink all of this. I can fill it up. Nita, good morning, or almost afternoon. All right, let's get. A little bit of parchment paper down for when we do the cutting. And I need my cheese slicer. Tina asked me on my YouTube channel, guys, if you are on YouTube, I do have a, I was going to say a very active, a very non-active, but getting active YouTube channel. It would help me tremendously if you subscribed on YouTube. My username on YouTube is my name. Zakia Ringle. So what we're going to do is use my cheese slicer. This is what I started with. When I first started making soap, before I had all the fancy tools and the slicers and all of that, I used, what is that on there, paper? I use a cheese slicer for slicing my soap because it would give me a straight line um, and then I could control where it was slicing and typically my hotel size bars like i showed you they're less than a quarter inch jerry michael cole morning zakia loved your book the news oh i'm so happy to hear that did you get it off of amazon or me directly if you got it off of amazon please 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 leave a review because amazon cares about those reviews in case you guys are wondering, I'm going to pause for the cause because somebody just reminded me I ain't said nothing about my books. I just so happen to be not only a soap maker, but also trying to get all of you to make soap as well. The author of three fantastic books on soap making. The very first book that I published is the new Soap Makers Cookbook, Ingredients for Success. The second book that I published is the new Soap Makers Cookbook, How to Make Cold Processed Soap from Scratch. And my third book is the new vegan soap cookbook, Making Plant-Based Soap from Scratch, or it's actually How to Make Homemade Plant-Based Soap. All three of these are available on Amazon. Can't see them because of the comments. These, feeling like Vanna Black right now. These are available on Amazon if you go to bit.ly forward slash soap books. Love the t-shirt. This came from my soaping BFF Kim. Um, you know how a lot of t-shirt companies say a small is a small when it's really like an extra extra small or a large which is typically a small but they're trying to push their stuff. They are great. I have all three. Thank you so much for writing the review Jerry. I appreciate it and thank you Latonia. It has a ticket. I don't know why. The, there was something I was going to say, but I forgot. Oh, the shirt. So it actually says, why lie? And of course, you guys, if you were here a little bit earlier, I had on my goggles and my gloves. So the goggles, gloves, and it says I'm a soap maker. 
And the reason I wore this in particular is because when I live stream on Twitter, there's always somebody who comes on the broadcast and questions if what I'm making is legal or not. And so I kind of thought it was like tongue in cheek to have a shirt that says, why lie? And lie, in case you guys are wondering, like you can't spell. Well, that's lye that we use in soap making, which is sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. And that's how we spell it. It's not like telling a lie. You got it. Nita got it. <laughs> Nita understood what the shirt was saying. You don't got to explain all of that, Zakia. We get it. All right, so now what I will do is slice this down so that we have our Lavender Tranquility hotel size bars. So this, as you can see, is much smaller. Well, it doesn't look much smaller, but once I start slicing it, it will be much smaller. This is um, six pounds of soap. So again, what we were talking about, not needing a gym, I could sit here and do this for about two seconds. And I wouldn't need a gym because that's my weightlifting for the day. Well, you're lifting six pounds, like really? That's really what you wanna say? No. Um, and so what we then do is I take a bar, cause this looks like the last time I washed it, I lost my marking for where the soap goes. But have no fear. Look, I got more little teeny tiny samples up there. So, oh no. Yeah, that's about halfway. Mommy, I know how to swim now since that lady taught me. I'm so glad. Yep. Did you see me swim by myself? Yes, you did such a great job. And I thought she was holding me, but she really wasn't. I was just swimming like by myself. And yes, got, like a fish. And, and, and I got freaked. Like, ah! Yes, it was, she was so excited. All right, so I'm going to take a little marking on here. But I had to, but I had to believe in myself. Exactly. And because you believed in yourself, what happened? I know how to swim. Good job, baby. Um, Latonia is saying, hey, can you go get me a paper towel, please? I needed to wipe this off. Okay, so I think I didn't give you guys the Mommy, let's have some popcorn. Soper's general warning and whatnot. Let's have some popcorn, Mom. As soon as I cut this, I'm only going to cut a few slices of this because this broadcast... I'm gonna, I'm gonna for Facebook standards, it's way too long. But did you put the popcorn mix at? I hid it. I didn't want you to eat it. All? At all. Yeah, I'm just going to put, take one thing out and then put it on the shelf. Mm-hmm. No. Now tell me where it is. Not telling you. You well, know what, I want to use my other well, slicer. Well, then I'll just watch you wear it where you hit it. Oh, shit. And then I'll know where it is. I'll never tell. And then there's the inside of the well, lavender tranquil. Well, I'll know soon if, if I see it. Well. And I'm going to find it. You're about to get punched. Well, I know that. Yeah, I'm going to use my other one because this is kind of long. And here's the inside of that one. So this will typically give me about 50 bars of the sample soap. Yesterday you dropped one of our... And because it gives me that much, I do four packs of the sample soap set where you get four bars for $10. That gives you a chance to try them out, see how you like them, and whatnot. That doesn't want to go through. Oh, that's pretty too. It has like a little circular. Can I see? I want to smell it too. You can't smell it right now. I got a whole lot to cut, baby. Okay. What's this? What's this? What? This. A pencil. It's not a pencil. It's a mechanical pencil. No, it's not. It's a, it's a regular What did pencil. I say it was? I like that one too. It's not You better pick it up. Right now. I know. Oh, 
Oh, and as we get closer in the middle, there's more of the color swirling situation going in there. I think, I can't remember. We made so many of these at one time. I can't remember if this one was the one that started going a little cray cray. Hey, Marlene. I don't remember if this was the one that started thickening up on me. So I'm just slicing it to make sure that it came out okay. And there's the inside of that one. That looks very pretty. So it's just a sample bar. And the idea behind these is Fandango, our new... <laughs> Fandang, that was Fandang. I've been doing nothing. I'm going to watch this broadcast over. I'm probably not going to watch it with my mom. She's going to probably text me because she did come on earlier. Um, I probably had a lot of Fandango moments on this broadcast where she would be like, you need to cut that camera off just in case. You know how people get um, and deal with your kid. Love that lavender soap. The swirl is beautiful. That was an accidental swirl. That was an accidental swirl because the soap started getting very thick. And so I was just plopping it. And then I took my spoon and just like said, okay, what can we get? You get what you get and you don't get upset. Let me see something. Nita, do you have kids? I have a theory, but I'm just curious. Do you have any children? And here's that one. Zakia, where can you purchase quality products, i.e. butters, oil, essential oils, etc.? Well, the lady right above me, she actually has a product company where she sells butters and lyes, essential oils, and all of that. I also have a blog entry on livesoapschool.com, and that has a ton of links to places that I also go for getting the oils and butters. But Marlene... Jackson right there the one who just she has a thriving soap supply business and she's been in business for over 10 years now so if you're looking for quality supplies she is where you can definitely get some nope I have a fur baby and the reason I asked that question because typically people who have kids won't refer to her as cute they'd be like yep I see where that come I know where your head is at right now mom but the ones who don't have kids they'll say she's so cute uh, my grown son was home this weekend. He grew up on live streaming. He comes in asking if I'm live. See, and I didn't start her early. Like, she's been with me live. And you told me, Yolanda, a lot of times. You said, you are going to have to get some kind of, like, signal or something. But because there was no structure or discipline around it, it's just like, oh, we're live? Not There was never a time that she couldn't talk on the broadcast. Hey, Mitch, how are you? And so, spare, not spare the rod. It's not really a spare the rod situation, but because that structure wasn't put in place, are we too late? Okay, I'll check it out. Oh, cool. Is it too late now? Or any of that. So, Mitch, we have done like a marathon broadcast. If you guys are just joining, I forget Facebook is a little bit different. We made our eucalyptus soap family cast versus biz cast. Still time. So, but I'm going to talk to you after this broadcast because that would be very helpful. Thank you, Mish. So these are the lavender sample size bars. And then I also made our eucalyptus soap, which is this one here. So I have a customer that orders this by the loaf. Um, and so this is made with 100% natural ingredients. Even the color is coming from a natural plant derivative, alfalfa powder, um, the essential oil, and then the oils and butters from the soap formulation. And so I made two of these, one for the custom loaf and then the other one for whatever is going to be on the website and the event on the 28th. And then I was talking about my book. And then I was talking about my to-do list, which is never ending. Was wondering how that color changed. Oh, see, that's what I'm saying about, that's the difference, guys, with the live streaming. Periscope, for the most part, they will watch from beginning to end. YouTube, they're searching for whatever it is that you're putting out there. 
Facebook, depending on how it shows up in your timeline, you're actually looking at other things on Facebook. It's not like a beginning to end, you watch it. Mine is never ending. What's never ending? So this is the, I want to say the hotel sample size bars. This is what's left for us to cut. I actually need to make a YouTube video of the cutting of this because there's so many that's going to come out of here. And then I also need to post that on Instagram. So I'm not going to finish the cut, but I do want you to see the side. This absolutely looks like a mountain landscape when you look at it. And then the top also has those waves and various colors and divots in there, um, which I think gives it a lot of character. So I need to capture that on film before I just slice it up here. And so we now have a Jene, you will be tagged. And you will know that your soap will be ready for you because I have made it. Now we gotta let it cure. Um, we also have our lavender soap down. We have finished our peppermint soap. We have also finished our lemongrass and poppy seed soap, which is this one here. I can't get all the way up to the top, but we also have lavender. We have 250 bars of the triple butter blend. We also have 60 bars of the activated charcoal and tea tree and a ton of peppermint, but I told you guys that already. So I'm working on restocking our sample sets. I'm Zakia. This was a long broadcast. Yolanda, I'm going to definitely give you a call about the biz cast versus the family cast because I definitely need some kind of strategy for that. Mish, I know your to-do list. Have you guys moved? Have you guys moved yet? I was wondering how the color changed. Did I miss anything else? I don't think so. Just an hour broadcast. Were we on for an hour? Hmm. Well, there you have it. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about what in the heck am I doing with this hair to make it grow the way that it's growing. I need somebody who knows how to do finger waves. That's our next style. But in the meantime, I got like my fake hulk going. Mommy, I already got to add some hulk. moisture. Pick Mommy, it out. I already put Wash it My tomorrow. Put all clothes. You don't have pants on. I'm gonna go put them on. But we're leaving now. The broadcast is over. All right. Thank you for joining me. I'm Zakia Paige. You want to come say bye? I want to do a pose. Oh, she wants to do a pose. Wait. We have to make sure. Let me. Let me. Let me. Oh, well, See, I'm glad I had that there. You're about to go too far. Do your pose. All right, good job. Get down. Get down. Get down. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a fantastic Saturday. Yeah, do a pose. And we'll see y'all next time. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, cookies. All right, go that way. Okay. Exit stage right. See you guys. <laughs>